Today we're talking about dung beetles. Ew. From the Big and Small of God by Tanya Davidson. Thank God for dung beetles. Without them, our planet would be covered in animal poop and consequently flies. Not to mention their burrowing of dung protects digested seeds by giving them a chance to germinate. Therefore, we'd also have fewer plants without these little pooper scoopers. There are three types of dung beetles, tunnelers, dwellers, and rollers. Tunnelers land on a manure pat and simply dig down into the pat, burying a portion of the dung. Dwellers are content with staying on top of the dung pat to lay their eggs and raise their young. Rollers form a bit of a bit of dung into a ball, roll it away, and bury it. Bury it. Although all are helpful, the most entertaining to watch are the rollers. The males offer the female a giant-sized brood ball. She accepts it, they roll it away together, or the female may just ride on top of the ball. They must watch out though, as other beetles may try to steal their ball. The new pair finds a soft place to bury the ball before mating. Whether they're rollers, tunnelers, or dwellers, they, they're mighty recyclers. By burying animal dung, the beetles loosen and nourish the soil and help control fly populations. The average domestic cow drops 10 to 12 dung pats per day, and each pat can produce up to 3,000 flies within two weeks. In parts of Texas, dung beetles bury about 80% of all cattle dung. If they didn't, the manure would harden, plants would die, and the pasture land would be a barren, smelly landscape filled with flies. Reflections. It seems that details are important to God. In addition to creating a thriving living landscape, God remembered to manage waste. Imagine the Trinity, God three in one, filled with joy while creating our world, making sure each aspect continues the cycle of life. Spend some time thanking the Trinity for their creativity and thoroughness.